Welcome to Canadian PGA TV. We're here at the Mr. Lube Canadian PGA Seniors Championship and standing with 2007 champion and Canadian Golf Hall of Famer, Mr. Dave Barr, fresh off the golf course after shooting a 500 par 67. Uh, David, nice playing today. Uh, tell us a bit about your round. Well, I thought I played half decent, but I just felt like I got run over by a truck. Uh, <laughs> I shoots five under and uh, Jim Rutledge shoots 62. So uh, I felt I wasted a couple shots out there. I three putted nine for bogey then had a five iron into 16 I'd like to have back and so I just made a par on that hole so given the the overall you know what I've been doing lately the putter's been a little wonky mm -hmm. and today wasn't too bad just that one one three putt at nine and you know they might have missed another makeable birdie here and there but all in all it was one of my better putting days in about three years now, how, how does that feel? I mean, does it, does it help seeing a guy like Jim rolling in the putts from basically everywhere? Does that help to kind of see that to get your vibe going a little bit? Well, yeah, no. Uh, you like to get caught up in the in the draft so that you can hang on to his shirt tail and try not to let him get away from you. But when you're seeing good shots uh, being played, uh, it just brings out maybe a little bit more, that little bit dig down a little deeper. That, yeah. Well, let's get it inside him and uh, feed off each other but uh, I don't know it's uh, it's just a funny thing that uh, it's it's great to see somebody get in the zone like that and, and get going I made comment out there it says well there's good putt there Lauren <laughs> in reference to uh, Lauren Roberts yeah, the boss sure. of the moss yeah. but uh, he's uh, he hit it well Tita Green and and you know when you're playing from the fairways and you know as young as he is a young 50 yeah. or a young 51 now that he's still got great length and uh, he can overpower us on the par fives. Now tell us a bit about uh, what your plans are. I mean, you've, you've played three weeks in a row now. Uh, you got a spot in there in New York and then over to Montreal and now here. Uh, you said if you saw some results, you might go to Q School again this year. What, what's your plans right now? Right now it's retirement. <laughs> you, know, I, uh, you know, I thought maybe these three weeks, uh, Endicott, Montreal and here, if the putter kind of came alive then maybe I'd uh, give it a shot in the fall but just the inner not calm standing over a putt uh, just fear factor yeah. of uh, knocking it five or six feet by then you're always gun shy and I can seem to putt with the best of them on the practice putting green but as soon as I get on the golf course there's like uh, anxiety level that comes up and it just won't allow, your your eyes and your hands don't seem to want to work together mm -hmm. and uh, you know the putters going back in different lines and you just feel like uh, you're gonna strike a nerve and uh, that's the way it's been for the last I would say maybe two years now you know I'm hitting the ball good off the tee I mean last week in Montreal I think it was uh, tied for first in greens and regulation that, yeah, yeah. but I was 76th in putting of 77 guys, so <laughs> that's not a good combination. And, you know, if you're going to play out there with some of the best in the world, that the putter needs to be going. And, and right now I just I don't have any confidence, and uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll probably put an entry in. I mean, something drastic would have to happen. I mean, I'm still knee-knocking over a, a two-footer. Wow, wow. You know, it's just I just can't get that inner calm going. And... Uh, yeah, I've brushed a lot of putts in, in my career in, and it's just one of those things. Uh, probably it's my turn to step to the sidelines. Well, even if it is, Dave, uh, you've been a great supporter of us, and I think you've been one of the greatest supporters of Canadian golf your whole life. I think that uh, you haven't got enough credit for that, uh, always coming back to play in events like this. Um, do you feel like it's, it's, I don't want to say responsibility, but do you, do you feel like you enjoy coming back to let some of the people from Canada see you play again, but also help uh, people like ourselves have events that get bigger and better? Yeah, I mean, this is where I got started. Played, you know, the Canadian Tour for four years, 74 through 77, and and then whenever I, I had the opportunity to come back, once I knew my uh, U.S. card was covered, I'd come back and play Canadian events. And it's just giving back to the game. Uh, you know, people that want to see some uh, Canadian guys play at the different uh, provincial opens and things like mm -hmm. that. And just come back and support the tournaments. And hopefully that you get corporate Canada involved. And I mean, it's great that Mr. Lube has stepped forward and all the sponsors here this week uh, had a great Pro-Am event here on Monday and that we, we get uh, that corporate support. And, 
And if you get corporate support, then you might get and see more guys out on the tour. They, you know, they got to have a place to play to hone their games, and exactly. and that's one of the reasons why I try to you know support the tournaments and that that I can come back and give a little and and hopefully uh, some of the sponsors and that uh, can see that uh, he, if you get some of your good or better players here then it's it's a big bonus yeah for sure well it looks like tomorrow morning it'll be or tomorrow afternoon it'll be yourself Jim Rutledge and Rothspittle in the final group so it should be a powerhouse group uh, really appreciate it as always and all the best tomorrow okay thanks